Mind link established. Greetings, Cerebrate. An update on current events is ready for you. The Garm Swarm's presence has substantially increased within this star system due to the Terran destruction of the Surta Brood's hive clusters on Chausara. Several broods from Char are already being deployed to the outlying worlds, and this cluster is designated to be secured as well. We received this information from a Garm Cerebrate while you were in slumber. Greetings, Cerebrate. I am Zaz. I too am a Cerebrate of the Overmind, and by his will, I control the Balrog Brood. Due to the Terran onslaught on Chausara, I have been tasked with securing your primary hive clusters in the next three char hours. For your brood's own safety, you are to relocate into the outlying Badlands. That is the Overmind's will, and you must not stray from it. Relay finished. We have contacted an independent hunter-killer, Draliska, who has agreed to meet your brood and escort it to a site that is suitable for a new hive cluster. I am Draliska, a hunter-killer guarding this region. The time has come. Recently, I have seen a large group of those creatures passing through a nearby canyon. We must hunt them down, lest they become a threat to us. I am ready. Mind Relay in progress. Greetings, Cerebrate. I have secured your brood. No harm will come to them as long as Garm does not interfere. 
and those strange creatures are kept at bay. Attention! Jormungand Brood's Hive Cluster is under attack by unknown beings. Relaying information to the Balrog Command Behemoth. Stand by for incoming relay. The Overmind is already aware of the situation at the Jormungand's Hive Cluster. This threat will be dealt with. I will inform you if your brood's assistance will be necessary. Until then, you are to hold your ground. Cerebrat, if we wait for Garm to arrive, that cluster will die. I am heading there now to protect them the best I can. If you send some of your underlings in, we will save this hive from destruction. Trust me. Inside this thing, we must destroy it immediately. Raliska, by interfering with Garm Brood's matters, you and your minions have violated the Overmind's will. I command you to return to my behemoth where your deviations will be assessed and dealt with. Are you insane? If we would not exterminate those invaders, this entire cluster could have been destroyed. This does not matter. Return to the behemoth now or be terminated. Mind relay in progress. I acknowledge your grievance, Cerebrate, but I believe it to be utterly misplaced. We all are servants to the Overmind's will. Any deviation is unacceptable. You would do well to remember that the Garm Swarm has no use for Cerebrates, who cannot follow orders. The information you requested is ready, Cerebrate. Many Hive Clusters have relayed sightings of the beings. Identified by the Balrog as Protoss, Cerebrate Zas and his minions continue to avoid confrontation with the invaders. Three hives have fallen to the Protoss already. 
We have not been able to locate any sort of assistance aside from the renegade Kukulkan Brood. Greetings, Cerebrate. I am Kerrigan, leader of the Kukulkan Brood. I'm positive the swarm has inundated you with propaganda against my group, but you're cunning enough to see just throughout their lies. I'm going to propose a deal you cannot refuse, Cerebrate. I'll help you out by sending down a number of Yggdrasils and Leviathans to relocate your brood, with the pretext that you join my faction. You know, of course, that my brood operates outside the will of the Overmind. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. That's why the border conflicts have been getting more fierce. You'll be branded as a traitor as well, but it's the only way you survive this day. It's the only way you'll save your brood. Make your choice, celebrate it, and be quick about it. The Protoss are coming for you. Attention, the Hive Cluster is under attack by Protoss forces. Renegade Yggdrasils are Our approaching. Your status of the official Surtur Brood's leader has been revoked due to your affiliation with the Kukulkan Brood. Mind relay in progress. Cerebrate, Kerrigan and her brood have rescued me from the Garm Behemoth. It seems they are as disillusioned with the Swarm as we are. Cerebrates have branded them dangerous renegades, but so far they certainly did us more good than Overmind's pawns. I think Kerrigan wanted to see you. Cerebrate, Marsara has been nearly overwhelmed by the Protoss. With the Swarm already in a rout, we shall also make our exit from this planet. But there is one thing we need to do before we evacuate. I want you to raid the Garm's subterranean hive cluster and retrieve whatever spoils you can find there. With the chaos of the Garm's evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of the tunnels. Then I will lead the hunt. Put them down. Protoss, this is impossible! 
It's possible. I have seen the Protoss within Garm controlled prison cells myself, and that was over a year ago. It's clear to all of us that the Swarm have known about them for some time. However, we don't have time to deal with this problem right now. Found the mine, Zack. The hunt is over. Cerebrate, Kerrigan's couriers are already translating the information from the mine, Zack. I hope it was worth our time. Relaying information from Kerrigan. You and the hunter killer have done well, Cerebrate. I believe our efforts have weakened the Overmind's ability to exert his will over the lesser broods. But we need to press our advantage. Duran, my second in command, will elaborate further. Our collective information has shown that the Hive Cluster on Antigua has, like us, managed to shake the Overmind's grip on their broods. They are ready to revolt against the Swarm. Unfortunately, the Garm seem to be aware of this as well. And they've spawned a large force of Balrog warriors there, under the command of Zass. It will be your task, Cerebrate, to liberate this hive from the Overmind's will. Duran will assassinate the Balrog queens that are keeping the local Cerebrate in check. With his support, the rest of the Balrog brood should be easy to deal with. There are many ways to die. It has been a long time since I last saw you, Draliska. I remember how small you were when I rescued you from the Feral Guard years ago. How are you today? Good to see you too, Duran. Would be even better if you did not bring that up every time we meet. The Bale Rock Queens lie dead at my feet. The Jormungand are ready for combat. That is correct. The Garm Swarm has exploited our loyalty for long enough. Attention! The Bale Rock Brood is advancing on our position.
It appears that the Jormungan's rebellion has attracted the Overmind's attention. We have attempted to dissect communications that appear to be going back and forth between Char and the newer lairs on the outlying worlds. Most of those relays were heavily shielded. We've also discovered information that may be of interest. This is Cerebrate Zaz of the Baelrog Brood. Our behemoth is downed. The Protoss are burning our ground. I command any nearby broods to assist my forces immediately. Protoss, here. Amusing. The filthy slime is getting his due. Derliska, I want you to go in and save that hive cluster. I would only ever do that to slaughter them myself. My queen, are you sure? I know Zaz is sociopathic, but his entire brood should not have to suffer for that. Having an additional cerebrate on our side could prove to be invaluable, too. I do not like this. I'm not asking you to like this assignment. I'm asking you to complete it. Yes, my queen. Then let us hunt quickly. I sense many things. I am ready. Hunt them down. We need to move quickly. They will not last long against the Protoss. just saved you petty, stinky skins, as So you had better change your tone before I tear. Enough! The Overmind is losing his power. The lesser broods are becoming feral, and the Protoss have begun to burn our homeworlds. What would have happened here if we hadn't arrived in time? State your point. Well, let's see. I think you have two choices. Either stay with the Swarm, and watch your entire brood being eradicated, or join us and prevent the Protoss from genociding our race. It's not a hard choice, Saz. Join you, the Renegades. You dare suggest such a treachery to one of the Overmind's highest Cerebrates? You'll be a very dead Cerebrate if you don't join me. I'm offering you a position as one of my top commanders. Don't you dare test me, Zaz. There is an unfortunate truth in your words, Kerrigan. The weakness of the Overmind would be the doom of entire Swarm. I accept your offer. You've made the correct choice, Celebrate Zaz. 
I cannot understand why you would trust this beast. He's our beast now. Cerebrate, our position has been discovered. As of two char hours ago, a large Garm Brood's force has arrived on Antigua Prime and is currently establishing a hive cluster within our perimeter. Kerrigan is gathering all Cerebrates for a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Garm Brood's presence, but there are other matters that need to be addressed. Duran will elaborate. You all know that the Zerg were modified early on by the Zelnaga. Some of our unmodified ancestors apparently still exist. So are the human hybrids also a part of our bloodline? Amusing. As a matter of fact, it is connected to the infested as well, Draliska. We now know that the Overmind's thralls have been investigating these primals as an extension of their research on Terrans and human hybrids. What we presume to be a simple mind sack was in truth a small piece of that puzzle. An organic psionic node, or what the Overmind servants call a mind node. This object has the psychic wavelength similar to that of the Overmind, but at a greater magnitude. It can reach across entire sectors. The Garm Brood use these mind nodes to sever the psychic links between us and the Overmind. A side effect from this severing is that it draws most of the standing Protoss fleets to the location of the split. Once the Swarm realized this, they began to strategically cut broods out of the Swarm. By luring the Protoss onto isolated containment worlds, the Swarm hoped to assimilate the Protoss into their fold. Your world of Marsara, Cerebrate, was one of those worlds designated to be sacrificed for the greater good. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that the Protoss are here as a side effect of the Overmind's greed. I'm saying you were all test subjects for what the Mind Node and the Protoss could do. Just as they destroyed Tarkosia with full bioweapon arsenal of their behemoths to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Protoss to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time, there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect that the Protoss were a secondary aspect of a two-part plan? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and assimilating the Protoss. It's time for the Swarm to pay for its crimes. And I know just the way. Duran will plant a node at the Garm Hive Cluster. Cerebrit, you will provide him with an escort. And when the Protoss arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now let's go. I'm having doubts about this, my queen. This is too risky. There is every chance that this could backfire and jeopardize the operation. I know this is risky, but I wouldn't be in my position if I didn't take any risks. Get it done, Duran. Yes, my queen. Long live the
mind node is in place. I wish to never do this again. I understand your misgivings, but if we are to defeat the Garm Swarm, all of us must be willing to do whatever it takes to achieve victory. The Overmind will fall, no matter the cost. Greetings, Cerebrate. Relaying information. The time of our final strike against the Swarm is close at hand. Before we can launch an attack at Char itself, however, we must break through the Overmind's most potent defenses. Zaz will brief you. I have defended Char in over 30 major engagements. I am well aware of its defenses. There are three primary Xelnaga platforms that serve as staging areas for the Garm and Grendel broods. If we assault the central platform, the resulting chaos will allow a small raiding group to gain safe passage through the planet's defenses. I am impressed, Zaz. I never thought you would decide on a frontal assault. The Overmind has his finest broods defending the platform, but they are no match for Balrog that is under my command. Indeed. Prepare yourself, Cerebret. By your will. By your will. How foolish. These hives would never have been abandoned by a brood under my control. This is a sign of utter weakness. The swarm needs some good old-fashioned discipline. authority were these approved? The order was mine, Duran. What? The Garm on Antigua were bad enough. Now you plan to lead the Protoss towards the Swarm as well. You are playing a dangerous game, Kerrigan. He is right. Just think of what you are about to do. I have thought about it, believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. Attention! We are detecting several dozen Terran warships exiting warp jump in high orbit over Char. They seem to be heading towards the primary Protoss Nexus. If they engage the Protoss, the Overmind may escape. 
Cerebrate, send Duran with a strike force to attack Terrans. Hunter killer Drilliska and Zavs will stay behind with the Leviathan. What? First, you let the Protoss burn our brethren. Then you ask Duran to go up against Terrans with just a few underlings at his back. I have absolute confidence in Duran's ability to hold off Terrans. I cannot believe what I am hearing. Duran, have you received this nonsense? I heard her. I'm going there. I have full confidence in Kerrigan's plan. I will not stop now. Amusing. I never took you for suicidal type. Why are you doing this, Duran? I know you were a Terran before. I know how you struggled after the infestation. Kerrigan gave you your place and purpose, but you do not owe her this. Draliska, stop. I know you've learned much in the past few years, but I know what I'm doing. The Terrans will conquer the planet and exterminate any Zerg in their path, just like they did in the Sara system. Once we've dealt with them, we may be able to do something about the Protoss. Kerrigan will understand. Maybe you are right. Hunt well, my friend. Cerebrate, remember the plan. The Protoss are to remain unharmed. Neutralized Terrans, but we are detecting a fleet of Protoss advancing upon our position. We need to evacuate immediately. Our colony is we under attack. We're moving out. What? You are not going to leave them down there. Everyone, prepare to leave Charles. Our colony is under attack. Kerrigan, Draliska, they are overwhelming my forces. Respond. Kerrigan, stop. Do not do this. It's done. Leviathan, send the orders. Take us out of orbit. 
now. Cerebra Neutralis got respond, damn it. The contact with our forces on Char Aleph is lost. Kerrigan has ordered the immediate withdrawal of all renegade broods from the Char system. Our long-range observations indicate that Terran and Protoss forces continue to battle across the core territories of Char, relaying information. I cannot believe she left him down there to die. I am done with Kukulkan, and you should depart with me before Kerrigan decides to expend us too. Mind Relay in progress. Cerebrates, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got some work to do. The eggs of a new swarm have been laid, and if we want them to hatch... Be gone with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I've sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Duran? You'll regret that. You don't seem to understand my situation here. I will never be defeated. Not by you, or the Overmind, or the Terrans, or anyone. I will rule as the queen of the universe, or see it burnt in ashes around me. If you try to get in my- The brood is ready, Cerebrit. Awaiting command. We are done with her. It appears that Zaz has successfully respawned Char's primary defensive weapon, the Spore Cannon. It must be killed if any escape attempt is to be made. Cerebrit. From this moment on, we are on our own. Amusing. I genuinely started to believe that Kerrigan might be the savior of our race. But in the end, she proved no better than the very swarm she fought. I should not have let him hunt alone. Gross.
Kentaro Adun, Executor, embrace the glory that is the birthright of our race. Know that I am Judicator Algaris, leader of the Conclave, and that you have been privileged to serve the Judicator caste. If you succeed in your missions, you shall be amongst the greatest of our race's heroes. You might even benefit from their wisdom and experience. However, your task is unique. While they carry forth the Judicator's will to the Honorable Fleets, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For we have found a being that may become the greatest of our allies. Even now it resides within a protective stasis crystal, awaiting its awakening into the Conclave. You must watch over the crystal and ensure that no harm comes to the being within it. Go now and serve the Conclave honorably. I am Tassadar, prestigious executor of the Templar, and humble servant to the Conclave. I have been tasked with overseeing your mission. Currently, Protoss forces are locked in battle with the Terrans across the entirety of this planet. After we finish our mission, I will be able to assist you further. In Taro Adun, I am Phoenix. I too am an executor of the Conclave. I have located a small hive cluster that could threaten the Crystal and our base. You must destroy them. Done well, young Templar. So long as the crystal is intact, you will continue to be praised. Thus, its existence and yours shall be made as one. As it prospers, so shall you. For you are part of the Conclave. If ever you are to be slain in the line of duty, you will be recovered from the field of battle and placed into a dragoon shell by the Preservers. That is our covenant with all Templar. Now, it would appear that you have become experienced enough to lead a force using warp travel. Thus, we shall make our exit from this wretched world and secure the crystal within the temple on Aya. Remnants of the Terran fleet still linger within this planet's orbit. They will attempt to block our exodus at every turn. My forces will aid you, should you require assistance. Do not contact many yourselves, warriors of Origa. Once more, we strike against the Terrans. I have sent a force of elite dragoons, known as the Crimson Talons, to assist you in combat. 
They will help your forces eradicate any being foolish enough to harm the crystal. Executor?
been outmaneuvered. Retreat to the behemoth. Hold, Executor. Do not pursue them. Executor, you must stay and relocate the beam to a more secure location. Tassadar shall deal with the remaining Zerg forces. Executor, be warned. While Tassadar is fighting with forces of the Swarm, the emanations of the being have called even more of our enemies to Ayur. These two shall be eradicated by your hand, Executor, for you grow more experienced with each passing battle. Indeed, you are a testament to our will and to the honor of the Conclave. Yet first, you must remain on the defensive and watch over the being within the cell for a while longer. For the very hour of the being's reawakening is at hand. Soon, our greatest ally will emerge. My brood remain vigilant. Not only are we up against the Protoss, but we have detected Zaz's forces somewhere around here, too. Let us make sure that this was not for nothing. The being is awakening. Do not let any Zerg near it. Rise, brave son. Rise, Duran. As you command, Judicator, let all who oppose the Empire be purified by fire. Well done, Executor. What we had protected this day will be the undoing of our enemies. Let no Zerg survive this battle. Duran. What has happened to you? How could this be? that you? For the most part, though I am much stronger than before. I sensed your mind. You seem to be calling for assistance. My mind naturally sent out signals to you and Kerrigan. It appears that she sent Zaz to recover me. But I am one of the Protoss now. You cannot imagine the power I now possess. You have already slaughtered my brood. Are you going to kill me now, too? While it is within my power, you pose no threat to us. Should you have any sense of self-preservation, leave this world, and let not the thought of confronting the Protoss cross your mind ever again. My brood, retreat from ire at once.
Executor, you stood watch over my slumbering form during my reawakening, and for this you have my gratitude. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so I might strengthen my powers to better serve the Conclave. I have been unable to access the full arsenal of my natural psionics, and as such, I am unable to serve the Conclave as effectively as I would like. However, I have learned of a former Terran science vessel that was once used as a testing ground for their mysterious ghost program. Unfortunately, this ship has since fallen under control of the vile Zerg and has been infested, rotting to its very core. It is a risky endeavor, but if I could have access to the data and equipment stored upon that ship, I may be able to unlock the full spectrum of my abilities. Though you are the favored son of the Conclave, you would do well to remember that you are an adopted son. You know of our grand mission, Duran. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Conclave? Do not toy with me, Phoenix. I will do as I wish. Neither you nor your brethren will stop me. Let him go, honored Phoenix. The greatest of his drive has stayed with him. For that the Conclave may benefit from his fierce example. Fear not his designs, young warrior. For he is bound to the Kala as any Templar. Truly, no Kala can stray from it. Duran is free to do as he pleases. Understood. Executor, see to it that no harm comes to him. The mightiest of my warriors stand by your side. They shall aid you in your search. Yes, Executor. Right away. Will be done. Long live the Empire. Well, of course. I'm here. Honor guide me. has been destroyed. We will have to find another way around. Yes, Executor. Of course. I love the combat. Yes, Executor. Will be done. Of course. Our will cannot be broken. Of course. I'll take care of it. Our will cannot be broken. I long for combat. Boss, I serve. I'm here. Take care of it. Will be done. Yes, Executor. Long live the Empire. Anyway. What is your request? I needed. Now my true power will be unleashed upon all who oppose me. It 
appears that we've overstayed our welcome. It will be done. I'll take care of it. Feel that, Executor? Terrans are here. On Aya. They have been for some time. Hiding. Terran Commander, it was a mistake for you to come here. For I am Duran, and I am a Templar of the Conclave. I know of you well, Templar. We've met on another occasion quite some time ago. I am Captain Mengsk of the Confederate Navy. I remember your valiant exploits when you were once human. Unfortunate it is to see one so proud and skillful succumb to such perversion. Do not lay your petty judgment upon me, Captain. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. Ah, and what is this? Could it be that your power has diminished since last we met? How pitiful. Perhaps, Templar, or is it that I need not waste my time with such pathetic competition? Foolish Terran. Prepare your defenses. I will end you soon. Duran, I sense something strange about this Terran. Perhaps this attack is ill-advised. Phoenix, I have told you too many times now not to impede me, for you do so at your own peril, Executor. Impudent fool, you dare to threaten a Templar. You will be the doom of us all. Do your underlings always do your fighting for you? Fair enough, Templar. This area is where we will fight. I'll defeat you here easily. Our will cannot be broken. I'm here. Our will cannot be broken. Yes, Executor. Phantom, a novel trick. Do you truly fear me so much as to turn tail and run? Reveal yourself, coward. 
Until you learn to stop being so utterly predictable, I have no reason to face you at all. Your arrogance is your own worst enemy, Templar. Quite a cunning one. No matter. Minsk cannot evade me forever. I will find him and... Duran. Phoenix has been slain. Quite a shame that he wasn't already within a Dragoon. I expect that nuisance to return shortly and lecture me some more about- You misunderstand. The Terrans have devised some sort of new attack. An attack powerful enough to destroy his Templar Nexus and create some kind of feedback whilst burning the Executor's mind simultaneously. Ah, so Mengsk's plan was merely a diversion. Perhaps I should have gone about engaging him more cautiously. Without their leader, Phoenix's forces have gone rogue, and are blaming us for his demise. Even now, these fools threaten the heart of the Conclave. Executor, you must eradicate these rebels, and stem any further damage they may cause. I shall deal with the Terrans myself. What would you ask of me? As you will. Conclave's long silence is now broken, and we are on alert once more. The cunning Terrans have dared to strike down that which was noble. The ones who murdered Phoenix are unlike any we have faced before. 
these directorate forces use technology that is much like our own. And it is by this technology that they have caused us harm. Yet their pride shall be their downfall. For when the assassin, the one called Alexei Stukov, murdered Phoenix, his mind touched with ours, and all his secrets were made known to us. We now know the location of Tarsonis, the Terran homeworld. At long last, fellow Templar, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Tarsonis directly. For now, we must ensure that the Directorate causes no more harm. Executor, you shall set a trap for our foes. Duran will lead them to you. Again, I grow tired of killing your toy soldiers. Are you Terrans always so cowardly as to hide in the back lines as your forces are slaughtered? On the contrary, Protoss, we are more than powerful enough to challenge anyone in this sector, even you. We may operate in the shadows, but make no mistake, alien, we could crush your kind without a second thought. You seem to be rather overconfident of yourself, Terran. I am no ordinary Protoss underling, but a hybrid of all three races. My very existence should turn you away in fear. Into our fold. Then 
We shall be the greatest of existence. We will soon be perfect. Before our Creator's worldship can land on this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Terran Rift Anchor, for within it lies power undreamed of by Terrans. Go now, brave Executor. Go now, Son of Aya. Secure the Rift Anchor and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the Conclave. can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the Conclave. But now, you must assault one final sight before our conquest is assured. There is a structure not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have more witness to the passing of countless decades, the structure which you must assault is younger by only a few years. For it was constructed by the ancient Terrans who had arrived here centuries ago. It marks where their ship first crash-landed. Indeed, the Terrans are not native to this world, but rather another. Though for now unknown, this world is by far their most hidden secret and the most worthy target for conquest. The site must be cleared and the Rift Anchor set in its place. Only then, shall the way be made ready, for that ground alone will be symbolic for the world ship's landing. That is where the Terran resistance shall end.
Executor, the Terrans have launched a final offensive to keep us away from the city. You must hold them at bay for a while longer. initiated by the Terrans shall be their own downfall. Years ago, our race discovered these creatures on the planet Chaosara. We had hoped to peacefully bring them into our fold. Instead, we were met with hatred and spite. The Terrans turned down our offer, and thus the Conclave led the Zerg to the Sara system to end their resistance. Now they will be joined into the Kala. And then the Conclave will greet them as part of the Empire. Truly, victory is finally ours. Greetings, Lieutenant. I'm General Edmund, Duke of Odysseus Squadron, and I'm here with some news for you. High Command has reviewed your recent combat performance and we've decided to appoint you as commanding officer of the newly reformed Epsilon Squadron. Congratulations are in order for your promotion, Captain. But having said that, you should also know that I'm going to be keeping an eye on your activities. Now don't take it personally, boy. We've recently had another captain go rogue by the name of Arcturus Mengsk. So now the families are buckling down to make sure everyone plays it nice and proper. I do have better things to do than babysit you, though. So I trust you'll follow the Starways Codex to the letter, and let's just move on to your standing orders. The Confederate Council is planning to bring the Naglfar's main batteries online. From its position under Tarsonis City, it should be able to fire at any target within 200 kilometers. As for the Protoss, their forward base is located in Kitrup, and they are attempting to advance along Highway S-48. If they manage to get a foothold in suburban areas, their artillery might be able to threaten the Naglfar. Your objective is to reinforce our garrison in New Gettysburg and push back the Protoss forces from the city. Local fortifications are manned by the 19th Marine Division under command of Lieutenant Rayner. I believe you've met, so I know there won't be any problems with this assignment. Something on your mind? No problem. Oh, is that it? Hey, Captain. What's up, man? It's good to see you again. This should be good. Unfortunately, all of our SCVs were destroyed in the last Protoss attack. We're a bit low on resources here, so we couldn't rebuild any of them. SCV good to go, sir. I was going to build some bunkers here, but without SCVs, it just wasn't in the cards.
Throw down with the best of them. I remember how we fought the Kelmorians on dozens of worlds during the war. Never thought I'd be fighting on Tarsonis, though. These Protoss sure are some tough bastards. Nicely done, Captain. Your defense of New Gettysburg stands as a fine example of devotion and professionalism, the core values of the Confederate Navy. Now, that doesn't mean you're quite off the family's hook yet. Mengsk's desertions put everybody's loyalty in question. Is that right, Duke? I would hope that the Confederacy would have more faith in their officers. Mengsk, where the Sam Hells have you been? Quiet, General. There isn't enough time, and I have a lot to say. As you know, the Protoss vanished after the fall of the Zerg world of Char, and despite the Confederacy ordering me to return to Tarsonis, I felt it was necessary to stay. I was contacted by people at the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. Apparently, others were called as well. On Ayr, I encountered those who came from our very homeworld, the United Earth Directorate. You're consorting with them fascists, Arcturus. That's treason! Enough! Listen, Captain, I've learned things from the UED Vice Admiral, Alexei Stukov. The Protoss leaders retain mind control links across their forces through stations called Templar Nexi. Destroy these Nexi and the Protoss will begin to fight each other instead of us. Captain, I think Mengsk may be right. If you can keep the Protoss occupied, my force will swing round back and encircle them. We'll hit them on both sides and wipe out that Nexus. I don't like it, but it does sound plausible. We'll do it your way, Arcturus, and you better not be making this shit up. In the meantime, you are to get back to Tarsonis ASAP. I'm sure we can convince the Council that investigating your UED connections isn't a priority for us right now. My concern is for the safety of Tarsonis, not the laws of the Confederacy. I'll return when I feel the time is right. Captain, we're in position. Give us the order and we'll give them the hurt. Your forces are under attack.
forces are under I'll attack. stay behind and monitor the effects of our attack, Captain. Return to the HQ. I'll notify you when the Protoss start to go crazy. Captain, I got some bad news. Remember that Templar Nexus we destroyed? Well, it seems they warped in another. I don't know, man. I'm feeling this whole thing is a bit pointless. We go in, wipe them out, lose a lot of good men, and they simply warp in another thing with even more reinforcements. I don't know how they do it, but their numbers seem endless. Damn it. And to think I was gonna put my ass on the line in front of the families for him. Looks like the Council's been right about him after all. Well now at least some good came out of this. While the Protoss were distracted by your attack, the 27th Armored Artillery was able to advance towards Kitrup. It's time to show those alien bastards the meaning of Confederate firepower. Captain, your new orders are to retake Kitrup and kill every Protoss that gets in your way. I've arranged for a wing of Sky Furies from my squadron to be transferred under your command. They're some of the best pilots in the Navy, so don't let their talents go to waste. Lieutenant Rayner, you will be reinforced by Delta Squadron's 46th Marines. Meet up with them, then proceed to New Gettysburg and maintain defensive positions. Good luck, Captain. Bring them hell. Orders, Captain? Transmit coordinates. Attack formation. Your forces are Captain, New Gettysburg is under attack by the Protoss. We're getting overrun. Stand your ground, Lieutenant, not one step back. Get me Naglfar Actual.
Listen, Captain, I know you ain't happy about leaving Tarsonis after what the alien bastards did to James Raynor, but remember that he fought and died in defense of his nation. He would want you to carry on, and that is exactly what we are going to do. When Captain Mengsk was ordered to track down and destroy multiple Protoss fleets in the Zerg-controlled space, he was granted command over a sizable portion of our battlecruiser, Armada. Some of those returned along with the majority of Zeta Squadron, back when he first went rogue. Now we need the rest of his fleet defending Tarsonis, and if Mengsk doesn't want to bring them home, we'll go and recall them ourselves, by force if necessary. In his last transmission, Mengsk said that he was somewhere on the planet Ire. It is a Protoss stronghold, so we can expect heavy resistance, but our intel suggests that most of their forces are currently deployed on Tarsonis, which should give us some breathing space. We should also be on the lookout for those UED operatives Arcturus allied himself with. Should they present a threat, we'll have to eliminate them as well. The High Command's orders are to detain Captain Mengsk along with the rest of his officers, assume command over whatever's left of Zeta Squadron, and bring them back home for trial. We'll see if any of them are worth returning to active service. Systems functional. Target designated. How did the both of you get here? I figured we were dead. Captain Arcturus Mengsk, we're here to arrest you and your officers and bring you all back to Tarsonis for trial on charges of desertion and treason. Arrest me? You spend all this time and resources to arrest me? Amusing. This sounds exactly like what happened to me as well. What the hell is this Zerg doing here? I am Hunter Killer Draliska and I will not take that condescending tone from anyone, not even a Terran. I swear your taste in pets grows weirder every day, Mengsk. Captain, take him into custody. Wait, Captain, I'm not sure what they have told you about me, but everything I did was for humanity. Help me find Stukov and his agents. Only they know how to defeat the Protoss. Once we've won, I'll surrender willingly. You think we'd ally with those fascists like you did? Are you out of your damn mind? You better give them some respect, General. Captain, I will explain everything. Just help me find Alexei Stukov. Target designated. My life for honor. I don't have time for you. We've been surrounded.
You have my thanks, Captain. Now let's find Stukov and head back to Tarsonis. Captain, I warn you. By following Mengsk and attempting to rescue the UED operatives, you're violating just about every article of the Starways Codex. Return to Tarsonis with Arcturus in the brig, and I'll make sure the Council never hears about it. Don't let him control you, Captain. The old families have long steered the actions of the Navy to their own ends. It's time we acted on our own accord. You swore an oath to support and defend the planets of the Confederacy, Arcturus. Not only would you betray your nation, but you'd force your men to commit the same treason. Does loyalty mean nothing to you anymore? That is the price for the protection of humanity. I have been here with the UED agents these past few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Protoss, I learned many of their secrets from their Vice Admiral Stukov. Apparently the technology that the UED uses has some side effects, which are effective against the Zelnaga worldship and the Protoss Templar Nexi. The same ones you said were a Protoss weakness before. Want to know what happened during our attack against one of those? The Protoss just warped in another Nexus and kept going till we ran out of reinforcements. Unfortunately, yes, your attack on the Nexus failed because weaponry of the Marine Corps can deal only with the Nexus itself, but not the Executor who commands within it. Only the UED's technology can truly harm the Protoss. That's why we must rescue Stukov and return to Tarsonis. I warned you, Captain. The Council and Senate will not tolerate this. Captain? I read you. Right away, sir. I'm listening. We're moving out.
now crossed into territory that belongs to the Infinity Swarm. Your wasteful attacks against the Protoss endanger my minions and their hive cluster. Leave now and never return, or I shall slaughter your underlings to the last. I am Arcturus Minsk, and I do remember you well. Whatever leniency I showed you and your brood back in Sarah's system was a mistake. You intimidate me and my men once more, and you'll never be able to do so again. You dare threaten a Cerebrate? This will be the doom of you all. Your forces are under attack. Captain, I believe that Alexei and his forces are close by, but I haven't been able to make contact with them. I'm not even sure if they're still alive, and yet we still need them, so we can't be certain unless we go and look. I sense danger ahead. Duran is out on the hunt, and even before this transformation, he was not the one to give up his prey easily. I understand, comrade, but with all due respect, Despite the friendship you had with him, you must know that I will not hesitate to kill him should he pose a threat to us. Nothing will prevent me from protecting humanity. Nothing. Time to make a stand. Very well then. Aliska mentioning he had lost some of his Zerg minions on iron. These Hydralisks could be useful. I know just the way. Remember the plan. Very well. This is an opportunity we can... Very well, then. We need a light.
What is the meaning of this? Good day, Stukov. I'm here to escort you to Tarsonis. Greetings, Captain Mengsk. I knew you would not leave us here to die at the hands of the Protoss. You've learned our weapons and tactics beyond the narrow scope of the Confederacy. But I fear your government in their rebellious pride will never welcome us like you have. Though you are not native to the Kuprulu sector, I ask you to help not only us, but humanity itself. I know that Council and Senate of the Confederacy are corrupt and petty, but an entire nation of people shouldn't have to suffer for that. I beg of you to come with us to Tarsonis and help in saving the human race. Since our first encounter during the Guild Wars, our civilizations have treated each other as nothing but mortal enemies. Still, we have never failed in our duty to humanity as a whole. And I'm not about to break that vow. We will return with you to Tarsonis. Welcome back, Minx, Captain. I'm glad to see that you both aren't dead. The Protoss have doubled their attacks, and it looks- Rainer? But the Captain told me of how you were killed by the Protoss. How are you still alive and well? Eh. Well, after my position was overrun, I blacked out. Apparently, my boys found me and fixed me up in a field hospital. I lost my legs, and these mechanical ones take a bit of practice, so I'll have to join the fun in a vulture. I am sorry for what happened to you. Don't be. I don't feel bad about it, and I can still fight. Just don't order me in any tight places, and we can put this matter behind us. There's a lot of news to report. Right now, you've been classified as traitors by Duke and the Confederate Council. They're currently mobilizing to arrest you and execute Vice Admiral Stukov. I should have known they would go this far. In the face of humanity's possible destruction, they still cling to their failing rules. Yeah, and that makes them more dangerous, too. They're probably hunting us now, Mengsk. And though I'm probably screwing myself over by doing this, I'll join your side. You have my thanks, Raynor. Captain, it seems that if our species is to live, we must protect the UED agents from our families and friends. That said, not even the Confederacy will stand in our way. Captain Mengsk, this is your last chance. Drop your weapons and surrender Alexei Stukov to our custody, so that we can deal with him in accordance with the Starways Codex. Go back to your masters and die in the darkness. Because of your idiotic adherence to Confederate law, your actions will get us all killed by the Pro-Toss. Research complete. 
Not only are we killing each other, but innocent civilians are getting slaughtered as well. And though I still believe the Confederacy's idiocy will doom us all, this conflict is getting us nowhere. I surrender. Arcturus of the Mengsk family, you are hereby under arrest on charges of insubordination, desertion, and treason. You refuse to destroy the Zerg world of Char, despite being ordered to do so by the High Command, and you've abandoned Tarsonis in time of crisis. Worst of all, you allied yourself with enemies of the Confederacy and took up arms against the Council and Senate. What do you have to say in your defense? I surrender to the Confederacy. However, given the circumstances, my decisions could not have been different. I sacrificed everything for humanity. I have discarded my rank, I've violated the law, and I've broken my allegiance. Be that as it may, don't think for one second that I regret what I did. I have an obligation to human race, and I'll see that it is fulfilled no matter the cost. Hey, Captain. Things aren't quite going as planned right now. Nevertheless, we need to keep on fighting. Our priority should be to find Minsk and bust him out before our old boy Duke executes him for treason. If we lose Minsk, there's not a chance in hell that we'll defeat the Protoss and destroy their world ship. Stukov and his agents have disappeared, leaving us to fight alone. Man, I wonder if it was a mistake for Minsk to trust those Earthlings. Wait, hang on. We're receiving a transmission from Draliska on his Leviathan. This is Draliska. You have my assistance if you want it. Arturus Mengsk helped me and my brood on ire. I wish to repay him that debt. Me and my brood no longer have a home or purpose to return to. Now my only desire is to hunt. Then you will, Hunter-Killer. You will. Good day, Commander. I sense many things. This is Jimmy. Proceed. Destroy them. The time is gone.
forces are under attack. Captain, we found Mengsk's prison cell. Time to break him out. Nice try, you lot. I figured you would try to break him out anyway, so I made sure to take some precautions. This damn uprising has gone far enough. It ends now. Drop your weapons now. The allies of Minsk will not fall while I still live. Call off your guards and stand aside, General, and you might live to see another day. I won't be addressed that way by a fascist such as yourself. You and your agents will be executed along with these traitors. I would like to see you try. Are you really that blinded by your pride that you can't see that your petty nation is on the verge of collapse? Your confederacy thinks they are winning this war, but all they've succeeded in doing is helping the Protoss to prevail. How dare you judge the laws of Starway's Codex, Tyrant? Oh, I have every right to judge them. Our nation has been exploring the expanse of space for hundreds of years. We have pierced the darkness of galaxies' farthest corners. We have seen entire civilizations rise and collapse into ash. Unto my knowledge, Edmund, all that your confederacy has built during its brief existence is but a thin veil of lies. A veil that will soon fall and reveal the horrors behind it. We'll see about that. Greetings, Captain. Thank you for securing my release. We might still win the war at this rate. The time has come to use the power of the UED. Alexei, tell our friends what we're up against. When I killed one of the executors on Ayer, I was temporarily connected to the Protoss mind control link they call Kala. For that instance, my mind was filled with thoughts of their leaders. And I must tell you that our gravest apprehensions were justified. The Protoss were created by the ancient Zelnaga. They inherited some of their technology, and with its aid they hoped to connect all sentient life to a singular mind link. Admittedly, this Kala is unlike anything I have ever experienced. While you're part of it, all of your thoughts and emotions blend with those of every being that shares this connection. Still, as beautiful as it may sound, the Conclave wants to use it as shackles to enslave our will, to kill our individuality. You see now that our fight is not only for the protection of Tarsonis or humanity, but for everyone in this galaxy. If the Conclave is allowed to proceed with its plans, soon the Protoss Empire will conquer and assimilate every single being of the Milky Way. It is imperative that we stop them. 
Our forces will assault the primary Protoss bases in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once we thin out their numbers, Stukov and his agents can infiltrate the bases and destroy the Templar Nexi from the inside. With the death of their commanders, we're hoping the distraction will root the Protoss for long enough for us to stage an attack of the world ship directly. Receiving headquarters. Your guard. Base is under attack. Raider here. Captain, our plan worked perfectly. The Protoss lines are broken, and the way to the world ship is almost clear. I will remain behind with a small detachment and hold off any Protoss reinforcements they send to the world ship. It all rests on you, Captain. The final battle is here. Indeed. Friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming battle, but death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy foes that have ravaged their way across the sector, enslaving all in their path. And now they have reached the end of their long journey. The Protoss have come to destroy everything we hold dear. They have come to assimilate us into their ranks. And I say to you, this shall not come to pass. Humanity shall not fall. Captain, I stand ready. As do I. My brood and I will fight for you to the end. The Protoss have taken everything from me. My home, my brethren, my only friend. I cannot possibly bring those things back, but I can hunt and slaughter them for all eternity to make them pay for everything they have destroyed. And so, I will. Then let our actions speak for us. For Tarsunis, for humanity. Captain, Minsk. This might mean little to you now, but I'll say it anyway. The Confederate Senate saw your attack against the Protoss, and well, it went exactly as you told me it would from the beginning. Not enough minerals. Perhaps we were wrong about you after all. If you are certain that you can stop the Protoss invasion today, then do so with our blessings. 
Good luck, defenders of the Confederacy. Does this mean they are going to send reinforcements? Captain, the world ship has been weakened, but its inner defense shields are still active and the NORAD-3 has suffered critical damage. I will steer my battle cruiser into a collision course with the world ship's outer hull. If I can activate the NORAD's nuclear weaponry and the UED Jorium enhanced warheads, it should be enough to penetrate the shield and destroy the conclave along with their vessel. Remember us, Captain. Remember what was done here today. Farewell. Here comes the NORAD-3! Oh, fuck! Hello there, Captain. I know you're still hurting from Mengsk's death, but we don't have any time to waste. Despite your success in taking out the world ship, the Protoss are still running amok and killing our men. We've attempted to reactivate Nagelfar's main engines and use it as an evac transport for civilians, but the enemy is shelling Tarsonis city with artillery, and I'm not sure for how much longer our forces can hold. The Navy is down 78 battlecruisers and about 60 escorts. Basically, we're in a bit of a pickle. I'm afraid General's assessment is correct, Captain. The Protoss will not stop until they kill every last one of us. Fortunately, I may have a way to resolve our, uh, complication. There are multiple warp gates deployed throughout this sector by the Directorate forces, intended to quickly transport personnel. One such gate was placed here, on Tarsonis. If we withdraw all of our remaining forces to it, we can use it to evacuate civilians to a certain location Protoss are not aware of. 
Now, listen here, boy. We may be on the back foot now, but that doesn't mean we'll abandon Tarsonis to those alien freaks. The Confederacy will fight till there's nothing left to fight with. Just like your old families did? They're dead, Edmund. And if we want to end up any better, we should learn from their mistakes. Now, Captain, I know of a place where Protoss will never find us. Braxis, a central base of the UED operations in this sector. The UED? Why would they help us with all that happened during the past decade? Not every government is as unforgiving as your old families. Haven't I demonstrated that yet? Maybe you're right, Stukov. Captain, when Vice Admiral finds us this warp gate of his, we'll secure it and begin sending over as many civilians as possible. Lieutenant Rayner's 19th Marine Division will hold the gate on this side while you and Lieutenant Davis go through and ensure our refugees get across safely. Carolina Davis reporting for duty. Sir, I was only recently promoted to Lieutenant, but I assure you that in these trying times, I will serve and fight for humanity to the best of my abilities. We'll know soon enough, girl. I wish to join you, Terrans. As much as I would prefer to stay and hunt the Protoss, my brood has no hope of surviving here on our own. Hunter Killer Draliska, as always, your help is appreciated. Get on with it. It is a good day to die. Gentlemen. I see. Get on with it. Using these gateways to bring reinforcements to the region. We should destroy them if possible. Still got here. Go ahead. Make a mess with the operation. Still got Go ahead, Tarakov. Be on your guard. that Confederates are still fighting for their ground against all odds. Admiral, those are the last of our forces remaining in this territory. We have located position of the UED. But there is a big Protoss force on the way. reached the warp gate. We should begin evacuation immediately. Advancing. Do not worry about the Protoss, Captain. Raynor and I shall stay behind and hold your flank until the evacuation is finished.
Captain, all survivors from Tarsonis have made it through the warp gate. But in the chaos of evacuation, we lost contact with Raynor and Draliska. I hope they will make it out alive eventually. Or at least, the Lieutenant does. Now, now, Lieutenant. The Hunter-Killer has quite an aptitude for fighting Protoss. He is no less capable than Raynor. I'm confident they'll be able to handle the Imperials. While they hold the gate, we have to get in touch with the UED. There's no way their sensors haven't spotted us yet, so all we have to do is to set up a temporary base and sit tight. Want to turn up the heat? You got my attention. Slam it. Let's burn. Protoss? On Braxis? Xeno bastards got here. They must have taken control of the warp gate on Tarsonis. Slam it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Job's finished. Orders received. Yes. I've got a job to do. Need something destroyed? I'm ready. Good day, Vice Admiral Stukov. Welcome back to Braxis. Commandment will be glad to hear about your return after so many months. But who are these aggressive creatures who came after you? As you were, Agent. These aliens are known as the Protoss, and their aggressive stance towards humankind is self-evident. I want to report to command as soon as we clear the area from hostile presence. I am sure Admiral will be eager to hear your debrief. Captain, we have received a message from Draliska and Raynor. It seems they are still alive and fighting for Tarsonis Warp Gate. If we eliminate the Protoss forces on our side, it should take some pressure off their positions. No sign of Draliska or Raynor here. Seems like they're still on Tarsonis. You want to reason me, boy? Destination! I've got a job. What now? shall remain here on Tarsonis and shut down the warp gate on our side. This is the only way to guarantee that no more Protoss will reach Braxis. Once the gate is shut down, there will be no way for us to reinforce your position. You will be overrun quickly. We will adapt as we always have. I'm gonna hang out with Draliska. Can't let my home planet burn because of these bastards, right? Understood. Well, shall send additional troops to reinforce you, Lieutenant. Don't give them an inch without a fight. We will not. Wish us a good hunt. 
Hello, Captain. I am Gerald Dugal, Admiral of the United Earth Directorate and a representative of the Supreme Council of Earth in this sector. Vice Admiral Stukov has already briefed me on the fall of Tarsonis, and I would like to express my condolences for the civilians who were lost in the crossfires of war. However, we must press on, and I commend you, Captain, for leading a timely retreat to Braxis. I know that the Confederacy has branded us as fascists, and I am aware that we, in turn, have spread propaganda about the Confederacy being traitors to the human race. But now is the time for us to stand together and face the Xenos threat head-on. Our own Supreme Council agrees on this matter. They have seen that when our powers are united, as in the case of Arcturus Mengsk, there is nothing that can stop the combined might of humanity. Those Protoss bastards were sure as hell pretty good at stopping us so far. That is correct, General, but we have some powerful weapons of our own. When we first arrived in this sector, we discovered a device called the Psi Disruptor. Although it was originally designed to be used against the Zerg, the information Vice Admiral provided on the effects of Jorium ammunition has led our scientists to a breakthrough. The research teams believe that we can utilize the Psi Disruptor to generate a catastrophic feedback surge against the Protoss, similar to how you used it in the past. However, this surge would be on a far greater scale and completely eradicate every single Kalai on the planet. Sounds like a nice piece of tech, but why haven't we used it already? Unfortunately, we cannot activate the device at this time. Our research teams need to properly synchronize the side disruptor's output wavelength with the frequency of their Kala network. After analyzing available data, Tactical has advised me that some of our listening posts in the Protoss-controlled space might have collected the information we need for those adjustments. Then we should find and extract those listening posts as soon as possible. I agree. However, we have a much more urgent matter to attend to. The Psi Disruptor is currently under siege by the Protoss. They have deployed two Templar Nexi and those must be destroyed as soon as possible. I need you to deploy a strike force to eliminate the Nexi and secure the area. Remember, Captain, only UED technology can create a feedback loop capable of killing a Protoss executor. I have ordered the equipping of your ghost agents with our Jorium-enhanced shells so they can eliminate executors when destroying their Nexuses. SCV, good to go, sir. Captain, we are detecting a considerable mass of Protoss forces around the device. We shall deploy our medics to compensate for their numbers. Need medical attention? Commander, Excellent work, Terrans. 
I'm glad to see you're still ready to give these creatures hell. Duran, what the hell are you doing here? Stand down, soldiers. I have not come here to fight you. Do you really think we're dumb enough to buy into that? You Protoss are all the same. Bloodthirsty alien freaks that need to be put down before you can ravage Braxis the same way you annihilated Tarsonis. Don't be so hasty with your assumptions. The Protoss you slaughtered were my enemies as well. If you would just let me explain... Then why do you even think we would want to listen to your explanation? Because, Stukov, I possess information that will be of grave importance to us all. If you would be so kind as to escort me to your headquarters, I will divulge everything I know. Very well, Duran. We will hear what you have to say. Remember, though, you are dealing with the most powerful military force in the galaxy. Don't make any moves you might regret. So, Duran, what information do you have for us? A new Zellaga world ship is being assembled on Ire. How the... Why should I believe this nonsense? Listen to me, Stukov. I am no longer the Conclave assassin you encountered on Ire. Aldaris and his henchmen are dead. Without their precious world ship, the Protoss can no longer control me. You have to believe me. We don't have time for... Don't listen to this lying son of a bitch. He'll tell you anything you want to hear and then stab... Stand down, General. We cannot take any chances with the Protoss, especially not when their leadership is concerned. Continue, Duran. It seems as if many surviving executors, led by Tassadar, have formed a new conclave. To make matters worse, they have somehow located another derelict Zelnaga worldship and are in the process of restoring it to operational status. Thankfully, they have a long way to go before it's brought to a serviceable state. As you may know, the Protoss cannot control their beloved Kala without an active world ship. But Tassadar and his lackeys are still in command of a significant fighting force. Numerous battalions of the Imperial Army, several Nerezim clans willing to fight for them, and several squadrons of the Protoss Grand Fleet. The two executors you killed here were but a small part of Tassadar's forces. That said, I think we all know what happens if they restore this world ship to its full capabilities. Even if all this is not as much of a bullshit as I believe it is, our primary goal now is to protect Braxis from the invaders, not to take out an entire world ship. We have to make the Psy Disruptor combat operational before it's too late. Then I will assist you in your mission, my friend. Annihilating Tassadar's forces on Braxis will surely serve to weaken their iron grip. Gentlemen, it appears that we should trust Duran, at least for now. The threat that we face is existential, and Duran's assistance will prove invaluable in the upcoming battles. I know that Duran was once your enemy, but remember that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Besides, we do not have time for such a debate. Tactical has pinpointed the location of the first listening post relevant to our current mission, the Zerg-controlled world of Maltair IV. Your objective is to locate the compound and retrieve its black box device. We shall complete this task with triumph, Admiral. But do not expect us to forget what Duran truly is. Captain, I will assemble a squadron of long-range fighters and transports for our expedition. Just give the order. In the five, 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 five. Explain something to me, Vice Admiral. How is it that your listening post has fallen under Zerg control? We believed it was of no further use to us. 
Some time ago, this planet was a Confederate colony. During the Guild Wars, the Confederacy abandoned the planet, and we shut our listening post down with it. Those Zerg are newcomers here. Orders, Captain. Captain, Roger that. Captain, we have a problem. During our flight here, our modular spaceport sections were damaged. The starports themselves are intact, but the production lines are in no condition to work. Air support is now out of the question. Be advised, Captain. Sensors are picking up another Zerg hive cluster in the area. However, its inhabitants are unlike any Zerg group that we know of. Biometric scans indicate the presence of unknown DNA signatures. These Zerg are... To call them strange would be a grave understatement. I can sense them, but they're neither part of a brood, nor mutated personalities like Draliska or the Feral Guards. It's almost as if... No, but that's impossible. What do you have in mind, Duran? I have felt something like this only once. In the presence of the Overmind. Are you trying to say these Zerg are some kind of your Overmind's personal army? Of that I am not sure. is here and intact. Gentlemen, send a transport for it so we may finally leave this place. Excellent work, Duran. You got some points in my scorebook. Maybe I have judged you too hastily after all. I can't say I blame you, especially after Ayer. Anyways, let's get this done before these new Zerg realize our intentions. Captain, we have located a large group of Zerg starships in a defensive formation over the planet. They do not seem to belong to the Infinity Swarm, but resemble the unknown beasts we encountered upon surface. We're being hailed by one of those ships. Interesting. It even claims to have a name. Kraken. Terrans, I am Dehaka. One who collects. First prime of the true Zerg. We come to claim Essence from the Broken Brood. You have taken Essence, collected from Corrupted Zerg. Collected from True Zerg. 
Return essence to us, or we will take yours. True, Zerg. As in primal, Zerg. I was pretty sure that the primals do not possess any means of leaving their homeworld of Zerus, and even if they did, it's almost halfway across the galaxy. I wonder how they even got here. Sir, these creatures are clearly hostile to us. I suggest we pierce through their defenses and continue on with our mission. Unfortunately, due to our failure with starports, we simply don't have enough firepower to take them out in a direct assault. Especially since we're talking about the Zerg. From my experience, I know that underestimating them may be the last thing you do in your life. If you say so, sir. Captain, I will lead a small strike force forward and search for weaknesses in their blockade. We shall see if those primals are as powerful as they pretend to be. We must fight for something greater than ourselves. Captain, it seems like this big Zerg abomination we just demolished was powering up a sizable portion of the primal defenses. However, I shall need more troops to deal with the rest of them. Reinforcements are en route now, Lieutenant. Did you want something? I'm listening, destination. <laughs> Reinforcements are en route now, Lieutenant. Input coordinates. Input coordinates.
Captain, we have successfully penetrated Primal's sorry excuse for defenses and secured the first black box. We are currently in orbit above the Protoss homeworld of Iyer. Vice Admiral, where is the location of the second listening post? It is located close to an old Imperial shipyard abandoned long ago. However, it appears the Protoss themselves are not the only problem. Scanners have picked up an extremely powerful energy signature in the AO. Is that what I think it is? Yes, Vice Admiral. It's the new Zelnaga worldship. It appears as if they have chosen to use this shipyard to reconstruct the ancient vessel. Perhaps they have even discovered your precious listening post. Regardless, the forces stationed at the shipyard are surely numerous. Hasadar is not the kind to allow us passage into such important territory without a fight. And now, with the Nerazim clan supporting him, the journey to recovering your data may prove to be very interesting. Sir, if I may, instead of sneaking to the post and retrieving the black box, we could launch a direct assault on the Worldship Construction Bay. Its core decks are likely to be protected with the same shields we have seen on Tarsonis, but if we deal significant damage to the outer hull, we may be able to disrupt its tactical network capabilities. That would allow us to retrieve the black box without much trouble. Excellent planning, I'm impressed, Lieutenant. Not even Mengsk could have done it better. Thank you, sir. Though I would not dare to place myself in the same league as Arcturus Mengsk himself. Yes, yes, this is all very touching. But can we please get on with the subject at hand? I will be able to convince some of the Protoss to join us, but we'd better act quickly. It won't be long until Tassadar has another Grand Fleet breathing down our necks. Then let us begin. Captain, my forces are ready for deployment at your command. It's time to deal with some alien scum.
Captain. The second black box is secured. Let's return on the Alexander and depart from this world to Braxis, if we still have a place to depart to. Welcome back, Captain. I must commend you for returning with such a decisive victory against the Protoss. However, this is not the time for celebration. While you were engaging our common enemy, General Duke and a large contingent of Confederate ex-military refugees have staged a full-scale revolt against us. Oh, Tvayuja, what the hell is that fool thinking? Duke has rallied his men under the belief that an alliance with the United Earth Directorate was a mistake, and that they should have had their final stand back on Tarsonis. It appears that old hatreds still run deep in humanity. As we speak, the rebels are gathering their forces for an attack on Boralus itself. Those are news hard to believe. With all due respect, Admiral, are things really as bad as you say? Unfortunately, they are, Lieutenant. Captain, as the Admiral of the UED Special Task Corps, I declare Duke and his men traitors to humanity. Your new objective is to eliminate this threat, quickly and decisively. We cannot allow a civil war to consume us while the Protoss grow stronger with every passing moment. Something's wrong. I know Dugala better than anyone else, and he was the one who suggested a scenario of incursion with the fewest possible Terran casualties. I hope he knows what he's doing. I don't know if you're right, sir, but regardless, the Admiral's orders are clear. There are traitors to be punished. We've got another problem, sir. It seems like some of our own soldiers have defected to Duke's command as well. So far, we can't account for most of our ghost operatives and wraiths, and our entire battlecruiser squadron is not responding to orders either. So this is how he wants to play this, huh? All right, our forces will be reinforced with Valkyrie-class frigates. Their cluster missiles will deal with any craft Duke wants to throw at us.
You're making a huge mistake coming after me, boy. I'm not the real threat here. Duran is. I have a lot more battle cruisers with falsified IFFs, and you will hear what I have to say. Captain, I expected better from you. You and your admiral call me a traitor, just as I did not long ago. My ignorance almost got us all killed, and your willingness to go along with Duran's manipulations won't work any better. Order your forces to stand down so that we can eliminate the Protoss invaders together. Not going to happen, Vice Admiral. You can go back and be a lapdog for this Lord of Fire all you want, but I'm not buying into his charade any longer. I hate to admit it, General, but Duran has been helping us in our mission, and you're interfering with it. You are forcing our hand. For God's sake, open your eyes, girl. While you were going after those listening posts, I did some digging. All this time, your Admiral Dugal has been working for- We have no time for this. Duran, what the hell do you think you're doing? Just dealing with your troubles, Terran. You can thank me later. All right, that's enough for me. Get the hell off this planet, Duran, or I'll have you executed right here and now. As you wish. My business here is concluded. Thanks to your help in killing those executors, Tassadar's command structure has been crippled. But don't get too used to my absence, humans. I will meet with you all very soon. I knew we shouldn't have trusted Duran. But even by helping us, that Protoss juggler still managed to fool us all. We can't help it now. Edmund is dead, and if we don't want to join him, we have to activate the Psy Disruptor. It will be just as Duran planned, but we're out of options. Unfortunately, we are. As such, I will order the mobilization of every single Directorate soldier on Braxis. We have observed the Koprulu sector for quite some time, but have never interfered. This isolationism has led us to failure. The time for us to retaliate is now, and the full might of humanity will be brought down upon our foes. Gerard, I've known you for ages, and I've always appreciated you as an ally and as a friend. But your latest actions, for the very first time in my life, make me wonder if you're still fit to carry your burden. You are probably correct, Alexei. Everything that has occurred has been draining, and I have not been sleeping. Until humanity is safe from alien threats, however, there can be no rest for us. The Protoss will never take Braxis. We will stop them here today, and then we will make sure the aliens can never threaten us again by wiping them out, if necessary. I hope so. Sir, the Directorate research teams have instructed me on how to operate the Psy Disruptor. We will need to transport the black boxes to the device, connect them to its systems, and set up some final calibrations. Then the disruptor will be able to purge the Xeno threat from Braxis once and for all. 
Captain, your orders will be to escort Stukov and Davis on their way to the Disruptor. After they reach it, we will activate the device and eliminate all Protoss currently on Braxis. Failure is not an option. Glory to the United Earth Directorate. Glory to humanity. When your forces reach the Psy Disruptor, Captain, the Protoss will send all of their forces to stop you. You and your men must be prepared to defend the device at all costs. You may commence with the operation. Orders received. Did you want something? Roger that. Do. You want a piece of me, boy? Give me some of this shit. Let's see if you can go, sir. Sir! There is as much time. Execute a strike now. Prepare to move out. Execute a strike now. There isn't much time. Execute a strike now. Base is entered. There isn't much time. If only you could see how it was in the good old days. Did you want something? Execute a strike now. Your forces position. are under attack. Orders received. Davis Your in position. Your forces are under attack. Captain, the Vice Admiral and I are preparing the device for activation. You must hold off the Protoss and buy us some time. Yes,
Mind Link established. Greetings, Pack Leader. You have been awakened from your long hibernation, and your pack is awaiting your command to join the attack against the Infinity Swarm. Elder Zervan personally addressed all packs not long ago. I will relay his will to you. Awaken, leaders of my ravenous packs, for this is your Elder Zervan. Know that we have left Xeris to defeat the broken Zerg and claim their essence for our prosperity. Though the petty races of this sector are inferior to the perfection of true Zerg, their cunning and bloodthirst are still considerable. If left unchecked, they will claim our essence as their own. Survive. Adapt. Evolve. Let these pillars lead us all to victory. Relay finished. Mind relay in progress. Greetings, Pack Leader. I am First Prime Dahaka, leader of the High Council, advisor to Zervan. You have heard Zervan's words as all Pack Leaders have. You understand. I put confidence in your pack. Do not fail me. Giving you advice is not my purpose, pack leader. We seek information on the broken rune. Probe defenses. Learn weaknesses. The true Zerg are attacking a planet, Martyr 4. You would join the assault. Capture the Hive Cluster of the Corrupted Zerg, and take their essence. The battle will commence within the next two cycle fragments. Failure will not be tolerated. You know this, Pack Leader. I await so much as in Sinistra. You as a sister of Vespians are us. We must defeat them. I await. I am Rajagal, once Protoss, now Zerg and leader of the Overmind's Guard. I've been observing your assault on the Infinity Swarm Hive Cluster, and wish to join your forces, if you're willing to allow me. A Protoss, corrupted by the Broken Brood. Interesting. Your essence is unlike theirs. It is stronger, superior. Why would you share it with us willingly? Kerrigan and her pawns are responsible for my infestation. They took my life and my will from me, and made me serve their ends. Now all I want is vengeance. This brood shares the same interest, and we united our powers to benefit our common goal. It seems that you too have something to say to the so-called Queen of Blades. What benefits do the true Zerg gain? Why should we not claim your essence for ourselves? My brood has been scouting territory around this hive cluster for some time. I could provide your soldiers with an alternate route into enemy flanks. Good. You and your brood are now part of the primal Zerg conquest. But know that we will watch you closely. Pack leader, tell Rashagar of our current mission. We shall see if this alliance would be beneficial. As the time come, all the task will be carried out. Your warriors have adapted. Builder, our enemies are diverse. Some possess strong essence. Our warriors can claim it. Gain power. Kill more enemies.
Our task has been completed. Enemies. The broken brood is defeated. We have claimed their essence, and those that survive will be hunted. We will gather the information we seek. Mind Relay in progress. Dehaka has informed me about your successes on Maltair 4. I am well pleased, Pack Leader. It is due to your efforts that we can proceed with our grand design. Our assimilators have successfully breached the Infinity Swarm's network and are relaying information to us as we speak. Know this. Dilarian region houses a hive cluster that the Infinity Swarm uses as a main staging area for his flying broods. This hive cluster holds a great number of hibernating behemoths which can be integrated into our pack. Go forth, my pack leader, and take what rightfully belongs to the primal Zerg. Hey, heed. The Infinity Swarm can reinforce its positions in any part of the Kopulu Sector within 16 char hours. You should expect the Queen of Blades' response shortly after your attack. Broken One, you shall not address us in this manner. Your essence beckons us. Do not give us more reason to claim it. Of course, Elder. This one's assistance, help they. Allowed the pack to bypass corrupted Zerg defenses. Killing her now, Rash, may put us at a disadvantage. She knows the corrupted Zerg will prove useful in destroying them. Dehaka, you show great knowledge and experience, yet I have never understood your enthusiasm towards swarm puppets. Rajagal has proven her worth, but she will always remain broken. And you know what I think of all broken. I do. Pack leader, begin the attack. Be prepared to fight the Infinity Swarm's reinforcements at any time. Our leaders are strong. Superior to the broken Zerg. We'll control the behemoths. We'll lead them to us. Protect the leaders. My Pack leader, several of my pack's lurkers come to your aid. Use them well.
your commands. on an approach vector to Dilar 4. A number of overlords have been launched from it. Behold the reinforcements that Rajagal has foretold. Pack leader, deploy your forces to repel the intruders. Mind relay in progress. Addressing the controller of this renegade brood. I am Zaz, Cerebrate of the Infinity Swarm, and your foolish struggle will end here and now. Surrender yourself to my brood, and I may allow you to live. Cerebrate Zaz, your brood was expected sooner. Know that we are not a renegade brood. We are the true Zaz. Primal Zerg. Primal Zerg? You came here from Cirrus itself? That is right, Cerebrate. We are here to take claim over the Scepter's corrupted Zerg and your essence. You will not stop us. You would do well to remember that we were the Overmind's chosen Zerg, not you. Now, you will know why that choice was made. The Dilarian Hive Cluster has been successfully assimilated. Cerebrit Zaz and his remaining forces seem to have withdrawn from this territory. We have consumed most of the essence of the Cluster's defenders and are ready to proceed with our mission. Our scouts have contacted us. They speak of a surviving structure of the Broken Brood and Char. They call it the Distortion Spire, and it has some connection to the Protoss. Elder, during the war, the Garm Brood was conducting large-scale research on the origins of the Overmind and the similarity of his psionic energies with those of the infested Terran Psychics. As a result, they developed a number of small portable cells called Mind Nodes. Their purpose was to lure Protoss Armadas to precise locations. There was information about other parts of this project, the result of which was intended to separate Protoss from their so-called Kala, rendering them helpless. This project was thankfully never located by the Infinity Swarm. I suspect that this distortion spire is the project they were trying to find, which means the Gom Brood was unable to finish it before the Protoss attacked. But the Infinity Swarm can do it. 
My judgment is that the structure should be eliminated. There is no telling what Kerrigan stands to gain if she claims the Spire. You show wisdom I did not expect from you, Rajagal. I agree. Peter, this structure could be of great use to us. Disposing of it will not benefit us. Surely you do not deny the capabilities of your own kind to deal with any threat. I, for one, am convinced that you need not rely on monuments of the Broken Zerg. You start to test my patience, Pro Restrain yourself first, Prime. Lest you forget our true goal. To claim the essence of the Protoss Conclave and take possession of their worldship. For if left unchecked, this distortion spire presents a grave threat to our mission. The Kraken is to head to Char immediately. Brood leader Rajagal, I appoint you to destroy the spire. Exterminate the Protoss with extreme prejudice and let nothing slow us down on the path of conquest. Pack leader, we have detected a large presence of Protoss forces in all directions. Elder, there are no Templar Nexuses in the area. The standard Nexus has a very limited ability to act as a relay station for the commanding executor. If we focus our efforts on destroying all Protoss Nexuses, we might just be able to disrupt their chain of control.
We have reached the distortion spire. Shall we prepare to destroy it? Bird leader, we are here to deal with the distortion spire by order of First Prime Dahaka. As you say, it is yours then. Hack leader, I shall return to the Kraken now. Once again, your ferocity and wit set an example to the rest of the primals. First Prime has informed me that the Distortion Spire has been dealt with, and we can proceed with our mission. At long last, the time has come to lay siege to Tarkosia, the capital world of the Infinity Swarm. Dehaka shall elaborate further. You have heard the reports from the reconnaissance packs. Tarkasia, once a Terran world before falling to the corrupted Zerg. This planet was the center of a separatist movement that included the packs of multiple swarm worlds. The Overmind used behemoths to bombard the planet with intent of annihilating the separatist leadership and putting an end to the resistance. The attacks left the planet as a husk, devoid of essence. The Queen of Blades is a ruthless creature who will use anything against us, regardless of the consequences, especially with this planet already bearing the scars of war. We have located a number of infested command centers in the area. If we do not dispose of them, the swarm's infested Terrans will surely endanger our soldiers and our mission. We have another threat to be concerned of. The Broken Brood prepares guardians in their primary hive cluster. Greater spires placed nearby allow them to spawn. If our own packs destroy these structures, the corrupted Zerg will be unable to spawn additional guardians. Know that you may only choose one target to assault, pack leader. Our forces cannot deal with both. You may lay waste to either the infested structures or the greater spires. Once the opposition has been dealt with, we will commence with the siege of Kerrigan's main hive cluster and claim her essence for our own. Sustaining the conquest. Thank God of the truth, sir.
orders to excel. That leader, Kerrigan's guardians can no longer be small. Pack leader, Elder Zervan has called a final attack plan discussion before the assault on Kerrigan's hive cluster begins. Greetings, pack leader. We are now making the final arrangements before commencing the attack on Kerrigan's fortress. Though we have dealt a significant blow to her forces, she still has control over a substantial number of broods. Know that her essence is strong and her command is capable. This is her territory and she will protect it to the last. It pleases me to know we are facing a worthy foe. The Infinity Swarm's fleet has been crippled. However, a number of infested command centers still survive. Infested turrets are unstable and lethal if they are allowed to get close. Make sure they don't. There is nothing more, pack leader. Now, commence the attack. For at the end of this day, the Infinity Swarm's essence shall be claimed in the name of the Primals. Make your choice. Your nest is under siege. I am the future. Prepare to die. Additional forces are already inbound, pack leader.
hands. Infested Terrans cannot be brought to bear. However, a large broken brood fleet still patrols close to the Hive Cluster. It is likely Kerrigan will send guardians against us. Watch the skies, Pack Leader. Show this queen the power of the true Zerg. Additional forces are already inbound, Pack Leader. inbound to help you. Leader, a single Yggdrasil has been spotted on low orbit. The Queen of Blades may be trying an escape. Mind relay in progress. I am Kerrigan, leader of the Infinity Swarm. I wish to see your superior at once. Behold the infamous Queen of Blades. Know that I am Zurvan, elder of the primal Zerg. Before we consume the remainder of your forces, I wish to acknowledge your skill and essence, for you are indeed a worthy opponent, even for a broken one. A strange compliment. Your actions here have dealt a serious setback, but I've faced worse while fighting the Overmind. 
Your ignorance amuses me. You will be killed, and your essence assimilated. Our creed, the rule of the strong, demands your destruction. Would you dare? Indeed we will. Pack leader, you have the honor of delivering a fatal blow to the Queen of Blades. Dispose of her. I do not think so. Attention! A hostile Leviathan is detected on approach. It is escorted by several Terran fighters. What? Who dares to disturb us? Hunter-killer Draliska. What the hell? You're the last Zerg I'd expect to see here, and the last Zerg I'd want to see. I am pulling you right out of the claws of those primals. So watch your tongue, lest I become tempted to leave you here. Make no mistake, I would much rather rend your skin than save it. But one, our mutual friend, wants you alive. Prepare for immediate warp jump. They are escaping right from under our claws. Kraken, track the wormhole destination. All packs, ready your fang and claw. Stand by for pursuit. Pack leader, we have managed to hunt down Kerrigan and Draliska to the devastated Terran capital world of Tarsonis. It seems they are now hidden somewhere behind the Terran defensive lines. There is also an active warp gate in close proximity to this position. I cannot fathom why Terrans would bother with protecting the Broken Ones. This is strange, but we have other concerns. The Protoss are gathering around the Terran base. They are dormant for now, but any provocation will cause them to retaliate. I understand, yet Kerrigan still presents a threat to our grand design. Her essence is strong and her existence cannot be ignored. We must deal with this situation immediately, Pack Leader. Prepare your warriors and concentrate your assault on the leader in the middle of the Terran Fortress. I shall dispatch our devourers to aid in crushing the Terran fleet. Dehaka and Rajagal shall hold the Protoss forces at bay. Blackened heavens!
Liska and Kerrigan will not surrender, Pack Leader. Their fortress has been destroyed, and they attempt to flee through the warp gate. You must. A Protoss force gathers to assault your position. A large fleet approaches from Rashagar's territory, but her pack lies dormant. Rashagal, what is the meaning of this? This truly is odd, First Prime. I am unable to detect any Protoss here whatsoever. Could it be that your intel is incorrect? The Protoss cannot be allowed to prevent us from eliminating Kerrigan. Rashagal, retreat to our position and support my back. Rashagal, so I was correct. Back leader, your back alone cannot stop the Protoss. Retreat from the planet while you still can. Inform Zervan, I have something that must be done. The contact with the ground forces on Tarsonis is lost. Draliska and Kerrigan must be out of our reach by now. However, word has come that shortly before our defeat, First Prime Dahaka has withdrawn all of his soldiers and returned here to the planet Maltair IV. But what is the reason behind his actions? Is it not common among the Primal Zerg to claim power whenever an opportunity arises, even if a great threat looms ahead? I will ignore your insolence this time, Rajagal. Dehaka knows better than anyone the importance of our task, and he has never failed the Primals before. Yet, he has been acting oddly as of late. We must locate him. Elder. We have just detected the psionic emanation of the Distortion Spire. It is located on the planet's surface and appears to be undamaged. First Prime did not destroy it as he was supposed to. What? You are warned, Elder. So many packs have been united, and Dihaka wants to claim his right to rule over them. The Distortion Spire is his instrument. Out of all my leaders, Dehaka was always the most loyal. He would be able to restrain his lust for power better than any other. Yet, it appears you speak the truth, Rajagal. Enter the Spire and deal with the First Prime, lest his reckless actions undermine our conquest. By your will. Is under control. The task will be carried out. Let me attempt this. Go there. Locate first by the hacker. Access not allowed. Activated. Should have never assimilated the mind guards. To where all is who the oppose first us. Prime? Do not divulge anything to the traitors. The mission must be carried out. You made the choice. We must focus. I will collect I am but a humble the service now. Pack leader. All right, this should do it. Essence chamber located. This place contains strong essence. Can be used for advantage. To arm essence. I am but a humble sir. I am but a humble sir. 
continuing the hunt. Vengeance is served. Vengeance is served. Access not allowed. What is happening? Give up the access, or you will not save the next cycle. We will not support you, traitors, in any endeavor. Stop! I will do what you ask me to. Access allowed. Your help is appreciated. First Prime Chambers located. They have to breached all the who oppose chamber. us. be present within the structure. Attention! Energy buildup detected within bioreactors. Overload predicted. This must be Rajagal's doing as well. Pack leader, you must keep the distortion spire intact if we are to claim the essence of the Protoss. Stop our bioreactors before it crumbles. Attention, Protoss forces are warping into the structure. It cannot be a coincidence. Dehaka was right. Rajagal is not even infested. Do not let the Protoss stop you, Pack Leader. Let them feel the fangs of the Primals. Dangerous. We are ready to kill. 
Access granted. Disabling bioreactors now. I am well pleased with your victory, pack leader. You have served me well. Now that the truth has been revealed, I want this distortion spire to be operating indefinitely. One of our packs shall be tasked with its protection. Let us make our exit from this world and head for the planet Ire. The Protoss shall soon know our eternal wrath. As for Rajagal, no one may survive insulting the Primals with such audacity. We will crush her flesh and claim her essence. Pack Leader. With the distortion spire used against the Protoss, their psionic network is almost suspended, and their leaders have lost control over their fleets. However, there is still a considerable force guarding the world ship Dry Dock, and the close proximity of Templar Nexi allows the enemy to maintain command over those troops. It is clear Dehaka's strategy is effective. The Distortion Spire is indeed the key to defeating the Protoss. Had we destroyed it, I do not believe our warriors would have had the strength to assault Ire. Yet here we stand, Pack Leader. The time of our race's stagnation has drawn to an end. No longer shall we recycle the same essence through our packs. This day, we shall claim the essence of the Protoss. We shall evolve. Be warned. There are three different Templar Nexi in close proximity to the world ship. Most of the Protoss capital vessels were forced to leave the orbit as soon as we arrived, so the enemy will be unable to warp in additional Nexi. But the current situation is still not in our favor. Yet you will prevail, Pack Leader, as you always have. Deploy our entire mighty force, and smite everyone who stands in our way. With the Bejeta virus, our leaders will infest the world ship and claim ultimate victory over the lesser races. All shall bow before our fang and claw. The hour of our triumph is at hand. However, there is one more thing to account for. 
I sense Rajagal and her twisted schemes. If she has indeed allied with the Protoss, it may manifest as a dangerous threat to our mission. Remain vigilant, pack leader. Now go. Your nest I is under wait. siege. Pack leader, this Protoss machine seems to be covered with some kind of impenetrable energy barrier. We cannot damage it. It has to be connected with the leader of this group and his Templar Nexus. Yes, leader. Awaits you for coming here. Ah, 
So this is the elder of the primal Zerg, the one who calls himself Zervan. I've been looking forward to this meeting. By Zerus itself, what kind of twisted essence has given birth to you? I am Duran, wielding the powers of the Protoss and Zerg. Powers you've attempted to acquire in futility. Know that this world ship and all aboard it belong to me alone. You have amassed an impressive amount of power in a short while, Elder. And there are those concerned about it. However, you will soon find that I am not one of them. Believe me when I say you will not stay at the top of the food chain for long. Your threats do not impress me, pathetic creature. For I possess methods to plunge your entire miserable kind into disarray. I know about your little distortion spire. It may provide you a small advantage for now, but it won't survive what is coming. And when it falls, you and your foolish followers will know the wrath of the Protoss. Oh, and while I'm still here, Dehaka. The one you had as an associate was more clever and cunning a leader than you could ever hope to be. It must have been a shame to silence a mind such as his. You have my gratitude for doing it, so I didn't have to. Listen carefully, Executor. I have severed your nerve cords, and thus you're no longer chained to the Kala. Tassadar and the rest of his empire will be unable to contact or control you ever again. Just in case you're not grateful, remember that your life is in my hands now. Do not even think about betraying me, and you will live. My lord, the beings you wish to contact are ready to talk. It's about time that they arrived. I would rather not come here at all. Your scheme stinks almost as much as you do. Come now, my dear Drilliska. How about putting a little trust into your old friend? Trust? A Protoss? Amusing. Who would have guessed? Anyway, I have an urgent matter to discuss with both of you. I trust that my servants on Tarsonis made it clear about the Primal Zerg's plans to capture the world ship and take control over the new Protoss Empire. Well, they have succeeded in their plan. Despite all my attempts to stop them, now they are in possession of the largest concentration of forces this sector has ever witnessed. So you want us to do the dirty work and fight the primals? Let me guess, at the end of this you're going to gain control over all of the Protoss, am I right? No, Terran. I want you to help me combat the primals. Because we're the only ones left who are capable of doing this. If we fail, there will be nothing to stop them from collecting essence of whoever they want. Draliska, you know much about the Primal Zerg Society, and you should recall what that usually means. I do. However, I fully recognize their desire to retaliate in light of Garm's research. They are not, at least, trying to conceal their lust for power. My lord, we have troubling circumstances. And it really can't wait, can it? So be it, Drilliska Terran. We'll have to finish this conversation later. The power of the Distortion Spire has begun affecting Char's surface. Observers report that our Kali warriors are beginning to destroy each other and the Nexus points. Our defenses crumble as we speak. Unacceptable! Executor, take the Crimson Talons. Like you, they have been cut off from the Kala, so the disruption will have no effect on them. Do whatever you can to protect our bases. We can't afford to lose any of them. What would you ask of me? I hunger for battle, not the god. We are under attack. Fire! My lord, it seems the Nexus Point control systems are not responsive to your executor's orders. We are unable to warp in additional warriors to this area. We still have soldiers within the structures themselves. Aside from them, it seems as if your forces are limited with the ones you currently have deployed, Executor. 
Regardless, I still need you to carry on and deal with the Renegades either way. forces can't keep up this fight for long. The damnable primals were clever enough to place the distortion spire in a very good position, and from there its influence is wreaking havoc among my troops, while leaving their own warriors unaffected. We don't have the time or the manpower to separate everyone from the Kala. So much for the power I now possess. Now. Will you finally tell me why you wanted me to bring Kerrigan here, if not to kill her yourself? You know my reasons well enough, Draliska. I'm in no position to seek out personal vengeance anymore, and neither are you. Not with the Primals battering our forces as they are. That's reassuring. Kerrigan, I trust you didn't have much trouble getting here. Skip the pleasantries, Duran. And what about talking with a former associate? It's been quite a while since we last met. Long is a relative term. Get to the point. If you say so. Mind nodes, Kerrigan. I need them. Really? Absolutely. The distortion spire you have been searching for was indeed located by the primal Zerg. It is now active, 
and has been disrupting my control over the Protoss. However, if I were to broadcast the Mind Node signal, it should be possible to lure the enthralled Protoss to a location where I can safely remove their connection to Kala. Well, as long as it benefits me, too. Then I believe I have a mutually beneficial proposition for you, Queen of Blades. After the Spire has been dealt with, I will assist your swarm in retaking Tarkosia from the Primals. Hmm. A tempting offer. How do you plan to prove that you won't backstab me the moment my part is done? I don't plan to. But know this, Kerrigan. Without me, the Primals will surely defeat you. And you would be left as a Zerg without essence, and most certainly without life. Well, your vision of the future doesn't leave me much choice, does it? I will provide you with a mind node, but you'd better not forget about the deal. My brood is in position. Amusingly, for all their might, the Primal's biotech is still so primitive. Their defenses rely on an external power source to function. I will find and destroy it. defenses in this area are disabled. My courier reports that the power surge has also weakened the distortion spire's signal, just as we planned. Good, then we may proceed. My drone will carry the mind node. With the distortion spire's powers crippled, the Protoss will hear its signal and follow it. I trust you know what to do with them once they're at your nexus point. These probes will facilitate the construction of a nexus point in this location. Once it is prepared, I will amass my forces and lay siege to the distortion spire itself. I am preparing a hive cluster nearby to assist in the assault. Separated from the Kala. These Crimson Talons will undoubtedly prove invaluable to our operations here. It is likely we will find other Protoss warriors in the area as well. We had better lure them to our positions. any more rogue Protoss. I'll recall the drone immediately.
have a bad feeling about this entire thing. We took out the distortion spire. Duran has restored his chain of command. But now I think we're living on borrowed time. He could go after us next. I understand your feelings. Yet when I met him on Aya before, even as his mind fell under the Conclave's sway, he allowed me to live. I want to trust him now that he is free once again. But my instincts sense nothing but danger emanating from him. If you ask for my opinion, he's completely untrustworthy. However, if I get a chance to regain my throne at Tarkosia, I'll take it. If I wanted you to make a sound, Kerrigan, I would tear one of your limbs off. Do not forget, you are the sole reason of what he has become. Oh my! With that kind of teamwork, the Primals won't have to bother fighting us. So Duran, are we going to attack Tarkasia as planned or what? We are. But it stands to reason that after our recent success on Maltair IV, the Primal Zerg have wised up and have significantly reinforced their defenses on Ire and Tarkosia. Unfortunately, this means that we will be forced to dedicate a considerably larger pool of resources in order to stand a chance against their legends in future engagements. And where are you planning to receive those from? Your old friends, Draliska, Feral Guardians. Their main hive clusters are located on the planet Moria which is very rich in minerals and, if memories left from the hive mind are correct, is still in state of nuclear fallout after what Terrans did during the initial swarm invasion. The radioactive ash and heavy clouds that dominate the landscape should conceal our approach so long as we limit our initial deployment to several small task forces. However, once on the ground, we will undoubtedly be facing off against feral brews, heavily mutated by the radiation. My apprentice, Roger Dahl, will be leading this incursion as a Dark Templar. Her skill of striking from the shadows cannot be underestimated. This may work. You have told me about your experience on Moria in the past, James. It may prove valuable to success of this assault. Sure, me and my boys can handle this. Always wanted to see what Combine's capital looks like after the activation of the Dead Hand. Then let the hunt begin. Do they suspect anything yet, my lord? They may. If that Terran could somehow be contacted from Braxis, this little truce would have ended. But for now, I've successfully manipulated them into believing me to be the victim of circumstances. Hopefully, by the time they learn the truth, it will be too late. Executor, the assault on Tarkosia will be no simple task. Hybrids may be instrumental in it. Make use of our arbiters to gather genetic samples from the Zerg Hive and construct a stasis cell in its place. Never imagined I'd be siding with the Protoss. God sometimes has a sense of humor, eh? Something wrong, James? Has your frail Terran body grown weary of fighting? Well, we aren't getting any younger. I'm not going to miss a battle like this, though. Being on Moria makes me nostalgic for the Guild Wars. Your the warriors times. have engaged the enemy. The times. I share your sentiment. This planet is the place where my mind first woke to sentience, no longer blackened out with the overwhelming will of the Overmind. All thanks to the Feral Guards who captured me in battle. And after all those years, I have returned to hunt them down. Amusing.
finishing up the Infinity Swarm as we speak. But those feral guardians of yours don't seem to even care. I thought Zerg are supposed to be united with common goals and all. Face our enemy directly, in open combat, rather than go on some bank heist. I don't know. Stabbing some uninvolved sap in the back for some cash isn't my style. Your but warriors if we need the have money, engaged the enemy. Toss guy. We've got your minerals. We'll head back to Char as soon as possible. The operation against the Feral Guardians was a success after all. Although there were significant losses for both the Terrans and my own forces, the resources we have gathered today will facilitate not only our recovery, but also allow us to bolster our forces. You better be right, Duran as we have no time to waste. The Primals are continuing to reinforce Tarkasia by the hour. They most certainly are. The Primals surely know that we are coming, and they will be preparing a welcoming party as we speak. Orbital defenses will undoubtedly fire upon us as soon as we enter orbit. And not only Zerg, but most certainly their Protoss slaves await us upon the surface of the planet. Raynor Driliska, your forces will be pivotal to the task ahead. Once we reach the planet, you must provoke the Primals and draw their would-be reinforcements away from the main battle, in which my Executor will lead. Yes, we have already talked this through a thousand times. Zaz and his forces will provide support for the front. You will deal with the rest. Commence the damn attack. Don't worry so much, Kerrigan. Tarkasia will be yours once more. fortifying their positions with controlled Protoss forces, just as expected. This force carries the Seventh Fleet's sigils. Be vigilant, Executor. Andraxus is known for his use of heavy craft in naval engagements, and his new masters will no doubt suppress any semblance of self-preservation within him or his forces. Expect no quarter.
Cells on Tarkosia have been devastated. All thanks to you, Executor. Kerrigan, this world is yours to lay claim to now. Of course you do remember this was part of the deal. Now that I rule the Zerg again, Zaz will send the remainder of his forces to bulk up this hive cluster. Whatever you say. The sun rises above this world. The world we have conquered from the relentless primal Zerg. However, despite our victory, the war is not over yet, and we must not become complacent in our fight. The battle has taken its toll upon our forces, and they must be bolstered considerably before we can even consider another assault on a fortified location such as this. My lord, there is still the matter of the Allied forces. Currently, they are as vulnerable as we are, but if left unchecked, they can become a significant threat in a short order. Yes, and when they realize what I'm truly after, they will turn on us in a heartbeat. Better deal with them now, once and for all, than be caught by surprise later. Now, Rajagal, tell me, as my apprentice, how would you destroy three armies with our limited resources? The Zerg and Terran forces are superior in numbers and assets. Yes, but they are still mending their wounds and resting from battle. More importantly, they still think of us as their allies, and will not expect an assault from within. If our warriors strike now, the enemy will be disoriented enough for our disadvantages to be compensated. Additionally, I would focus my efforts on slaying their leaders, Cerebrate Zaz and the Terran Commander. Their downfall will ensure that neither of these factions trifles with us in the future. The Hunter-Killer Draliska would be a wise choice for a target as well, but his current position is unknown. Sounds like a fine strategy, and exactly the kind of job for your Nerazim brethren. How long will it take for them to go on full alert after our initial attack? Based on my observations, approximately six ticks. It is not much, but it is better than nothing. Executor, you know your mission. Commence the attack, and let nothing stop you until all of our would-be enemies become dust. the advantage, Executor. Continue to exploit it and crush the enemies of the Alliance.
never meet in person again, Duran. I am the oldest Cerebrate still alive, and yet I have never seen such a failure of a Zerg as yourself. Clearly, the Cerebrate who infested you should have killed you instead. When your behemoth crashed on Antigua Prime, I had hoped that Kerrigan would leave you there so the Protoss could kill you, Zaz. Much to my chagrin, she did not. But now death comes for you anyway, sniveling creature. Amusing, as Draliska would say. Your amusement does not concern me. The Infinity Swarm has endured the Primal Zerg, and it will endure you as well, even if I die this day. Duran, you treacherous scum. We had an agreement. Yes, yes, well, sorry for ruining it for you. Well, on second thought, I'm not sorry at all. After everything you've done in an attempt to trick me, manipulate me into serving your goals, it is only fitting you get the same thing in return. How poetic. Even with the threat of primals taking over our entire galaxy, you'll still resort to being a slippery Protoss murderer. You really are cold. You know that, right? Define slippery murderer for the Overmind. Yes, the primals are a threat, and it's for that exact reason that I brought Alliance forces to Tarkosia. Certainly not because of any obligation to you. Now that this planet is mostly retaken, I simply have no need for you or your pitiful swarm anymore. However, Kerrigan, Death is not how your sad, insignificant story ends. You will live to observe a new Protoss civilization rise from the ashes, knowing that all of this is your doing. In your hubris, you allowed us to grow beyond you, right under your nose. tactic from the Protoss. Thought you guys just did things the old-fashioned way with brute force. No deception involved. I can't lie here. I'm impressed. If we are to endure, we must evolve. The Conclave did not understand this, and look where it is now. However, they are not the only ones. Honestly, did you truly think that after all you have done against the Empire, I would simply forgive it all and bleat for help like a scared lamb? Such overconfidence, or maybe even arrogance, such a thing is quite unbecoming of you, you know. Took that straight out of Minsk's mouth, huh? You had a point. Now then, Terran, are you ready to learn about the afterlife firsthand? Not until you stop calling me Terran. The name's Jim Rayner, pal. You might start hearing it a lot when I get to demolishing your alliance. So better write it down or something. Rest assured, it will be written on your grave. James. No. Soldiers died, Draliska. 
There is no need to overreact. The only reason he died is you. You killed him, just like countless other Terrans and Zerg. And for what? To satisfy your bloodlust. The word you are looking for is strategy. Come now. I taught you better than to overlook such a threat as your comrade here, if you were in my position. Your teachings were important to me once, but no more. From this moment on, you are my prey, and I will devote my every effort to killing you, whatever the cost might be. Wow, you really mean it, don't you? It sickens me that you would ever doubt it. You claim that the Conclave can no longer control you, and yet, your actions show that their doctrines are still poisoning your mind. You taught me about compassion, but you forgot. You taught me about loyalty, but you forgot. I pity you, Duran, but, but that does not mean I do not hate you for what you did today. Watch shadows carefully. In one of those shadows, I will be waiting. It is done, Executor. Neither the Terrans nor the Infinity Swarm will threaten our alliance any longer. We call our forces to Char now. This fighting has left me weary to some extent. My lord, a Protoss fleet from the New Empire is approaching the planet. They have already deployed warriors who are striking our outposts as we speak. So the Primal Zerg did not appreciate us taking Tarkosia from them. While I was expecting a counterattack, I had not anticipated that it would happen so soon. Shall I prepare the Alliance forces to protect our territory? Yes, and join them yourself. The Primals won't hold back their Imperial friends until they destroy us. Start by bolstering the forces of the outposts that are yet to be attacked. Before we can mount an assault against the Imperials directly, our own ground must be defended. There is a Zerg Hive cluster behind enemy lines. It appears they also possess several Templar Nexuses on their territory. I presume they are using these to make the Imperials serve them unquestionably. Most likely they figured out that the Kala cannot reach far from the world ship. To attack here, they are probably using relay stations, just like the Conclave did. Executor, strike at the Primals and eliminate their Nexi. We will enforce interference upon the psionic matrix to disallow them from warring the enemy Templar. Without relays, the Protoss will fall into disarray, making it easier to kill or convert them. Thank you. 
warriors have engaged the enemy. Commencing. The war to rock. Executor, have you ever heard about the planet called Braxis? If you haven't, you're about to, because that is where we're going. The primals are clearly not going to leave us alone. But before we can attack their bastion on Ire, there's one operation to be performed against the United Earth Directorate. I want you to kidnap their admiral, Gerard Dugal. Their soldiers will not allow us to simply take their leader. Our preliminary scouting has discovered a massive network of ground-to-space weaponry, which means any attempt at invasion will lead to catastrophic losses for our fleet. This means the direct approach will not work. My lord, some kind of diversion may be sufficient to distract them from protecting the headquarters, so we can capture the Admiral with fewer difficulties. Is there anything particular you have in mind, Rajagal? We are detecting an extremely potent power source on the outskirts of the UED's largest settlement. Most likely, it is a cluster of cold fusion or similar reactors supplying the city. If we cause a meltdown of the outer generators, it may trigger a chain reaction that will destroy the base and depower the area. With the cover of darkness, the task of retrieving the Admiral would be trivial. A long shot! But it might just work. You have my permission, Rajagal. Executor, command our ground forces and support her advance upon the UED facility. Make use of the Dark Archons. Our Templar have yet to master all the powers the pure cosmic energy provides them with. But they will no doubt be a powerful advantage regardless. Destroy any and all Terrans who dare to get in your way. This reactor is primed for overload. This reactor is primed for overload. Yeah, 
Charges prepared. Safety protocols are down, priming the overload. All reactors are prepared for meltdown, my lord. We can begin whenever you wish. Finally. Executor, order the fleet to move in. Locate and secure the Admiral once the city goes dark. Rajagal, do it. Grid will overload in six. Thanks to the successful attack on Braxis, we still have both what we need to take down the world ship, and a significant force to prevent us from getting killed in the process. The time has come to destroy the new Protoss Empire for good. I still do not see how we are going to do this, my lord. Considering the number of our servants is still thin compared to the combined forces of primals and their slave legions. What provides even more misgivings, however, are the Zelnaga Null Shields protecting the inner decks of the vessel. We can destroy the outer armor, but the core itself will be unreachable. Both of your concerns would be a problem, Rajagal. If not for a tiny little detail, which, if I am correct, will reveal itself very shortly. I still do not recognize what could possibly help us to penetrate the... This is unexpected. We are being hailed by a Terran battlecruiser, the allegiance of which I cannot determine. Humans always seem to come when you least expect them. Attention, alien scum. This is Vice Admiral Stukov. Only because of your assistance in retaking Braxis, I'm giving you 60 seconds to think of a very good reason for killing our troops, destroying our assets, and imprisoning Admiral Dugala. Tread carefully. In fact, the reason for the attack on your city was this very conversation, Stukov. You see, the world ship is protected by Null Shields. The most advanced defense technology in the known universe, invulnerable to any kind of attack, except, apparently, Terran Psionics. So it's really simple. You destroy the world ship, and I will let your precious leader go free. Blowing your escorts out of the sky, boarding your ship, and taking the Admiral back by force would be fairly simple, too. Stand down, Alexei. You know as well as I do that the Protoss Empire represents a threat to the entire galaxy. The world ship must be destroyed, no matter the cost. You're a prisoner of war, Gerard, and maybe under the enemy's influence. With all due respect, I refuse to take orders from you. I do not expect you to follow my orders, but consider this. Our only goal is, and always has been, to protect the human race from the extraterrestrial threat, and this is the greatest threat that we have ever faced. I wish there were another way, but if joining Duran is what it takes to bring the Conclave down, then so be it. This goes against my better judgment, but I will authorize the destruction of the world ship for the betterment of mankind.
not be a threat to us anymore. Now, Duran, release our Admiral, or you will be next. But of course, the deal is the deal. Admiral Dugal, you're free to leave whenever you wish. No. My lord, I will remain at your side until the end. What? Well now, human, I did release him as promised. It's not my problem that he doesn't want to go. You must be thinking, I'm an idiot. Release your mind control over Gerard right damn now. All right, Stukov. With all sincerity, the mind of your admiral has not belonged to him for quite a while. For all your boasting and superiority toting, you Earthborn are rather ignorant of the warning signs, and you should be. We, the Protoss, have mastered the art of psionics, and in this, you could never hope to be our equals. Your leader was quite useful in my endeavors. Surely you recall how he had ordered you to eradicate every single Imperial Protoss on Braxis? Well, that was me. Manipulating his fragile will into ordering you to destroy the world ship and kill Tassadar was surprisingly easy. Though it may be because Gerard himself thought that it was the right thing to do. You are so dead, Duran.
ship destroyed along with Hasidar's executors, the new Imperial legions have fallen into disarray. They are engaging each other, as well as the primal Zerg armies. The primals are in retreat from the planet. Their numbers thin, but I cannot determine the exact amount. We are deploying a nexus point upon this platform. However, the Seventh Fleet is converging on this position, and has already tried attacking our perimeter. My Nerezim are successful in holding its advance for now. Additionally, there is still the matter of the UED, who have fled the battlefield along with Admiral Dugal. Stukov just can't give up, can he? Are you still tracking their ships, Rajagal? Yes. Apparently they are preparing for the evacuation at a site close to Korshakal's border. The Admiral is being held under guard within a separate facility. Most likely they are planning to take him back to Braxis and treat him there. The fools still think there is a chance of recovery for Dugal. And since we can't be sure with what kind of technology the Directorate is going to make use of in order to oppose my control, it is better to be safe than sorry. How much time do we have until they finish their evacuation? At least 30 ticks until their transport ships are ready to take off. That should be more than enough. Executor, deploy our fleet and crush the Earthborn forces on Ire. Be warned that there still may be Primals or Imperials in the area. They may be an obstacle to your actions, but they will undoubtedly oppose the UED as well. Capture Stukov and Dugal alive, if possible. Rajagal, continue to protect the space platform from the Imperials. Do not let them near Executor Citadel. However, too late. I have fallen under an alien influence. You know what this means, old friend. You are the Admiral now. Give me your sidearm. I will deal with this appropriately. 
You've just allowed your commander to shoot himself. I don't think this is covered in any kind of officer manual, is it? Get over yourself, Tvar. I wouldn't allow Gerard to remain your puppet, even if he wasn't a fellow officer. I have underestimated you, Vice Admiral. You are an honorable man. It is a shame that your government shall never know it. You are free to go. What? Exactly what you heard. You are free to go. I'm sure your UED friends will be happy to learn that it is you who is responsible for the death of Admiral Dugal and the loss of the attack fleet. And even if they never know about it, you will always remember what you have done here today. With that, there's no point in destroying you further. Bad decision, Duran. The UED will crush you, and I shall personally see to it. Gerard, our Admiral is dead. More than 60 ships destroyed, plus two dozen have not reported to the rendezvous. And it's now only a matter of time before Duran takes control over all Protoss forces on Ire. Still, we have not lost yet. Regrouping with Captain's forces is our first priority at the moment. He and Lieutenant Davis should be already on the way to rendezvous with us. With their support, we should not run into any problems returning back to Braxis. Excuse me, sir, but the sensors have detected a weak energy trace on a nearby planet. It seems to be Terran, possibly Confederate in origin. However, the readings are faint, and we can't be certain from such a distance. Interesting. That may be Captain or Davis with their troops down there. Who else could be here, deep within Protoss space? Helmsman, take us to that planet. If our Terran allies are here, we will find them. Vice Admiral, sir. We are detecting a significant Zerg presence close to the energy signature's determined location. Understood. I'll investigate with a recon squad. Stokov here. I see. There is a human within this thing. Attention. Power supply at minimal capacity. Suppression fields failing. Species psionic power is affecting the cell. He's not making it for sure. Seems like these Zerg have a lot of troubles with Terran power generation. But why bother with it at all? And why put a soldier into such a prison? Even more of those stasis cells. Someone invested a lot of resources in the operation. Here's another human. A ghost, too. It's not an easy task to capture a ghost alive. I wonder how they managed to do it twice. Species identified as Terran Psychic. Brain analysis and genetic code are added to the hive mind. Psionic activity suppressed. How dare they? If the aliens want to know more about humanity, it is only fitting to provide them with a deadly experience. For the betterment of mankind, I see. Advancing. Doctor. I see. Advancing. Doctor. Wait, it's a... Protoss. I was wrong. Something else is going on here. 
Species identified as Protoss Trooper. Brain analysis and genetic code are added to the hive mind. Terran psychic gene compatibility. Alteration is progressing. I'm no biologist, but that doesn't sound good. Охренеть! What is that even supposed to be? Species identified as Terran Protoss Hybrid Gestalt Strain Psionic Activity Suppressed Just like Duran, but replicating the Conclave's success should be impossible. Impossible is a word you humans use far too often. What? Who am I speaking with? Different beings know me by different names. Here I am recognized as Rajagal. But I admire your dedication, human. So I will grant you my true name, Gestalt One. I have seen you by Duran's side not long ago. Is it yet another of his galaxy domination plans? Duran and his power struggles have nothing to do with this. His sudden rebirth on Ira was significant to my progress. But even he does not suspect my true nature. I assisted the primal invaders in conquering Duran's nexuses near the Distortion Spire on Shaw. Not to help them, but to advance my research even further. If not for him, then for whom? Yourself? There are things more important than furthering our own agenda. You know that, human. Those creatures are reflecting the ultimate purpose of all life. Perfection. Is that how you see perfection? In those... monstrosities? Do you even know what to expect from them? I do. You may not see it yet, human, but you will understand. They are the future of the Kopuru Sector, and quite possibly of the entire galaxy. They are the ultimate incarnation of God's vision. Was that God of yours born in a tube as well? I did not expect you to see it now. After all, you are just a human. I know you desire to destroy all I have created here. Do it. But know that there are many places like this throughout the sector and beyond its borders. You will never be able to locate them all. When the time comes, the Gestalts will awaken. Executor, it seems everything is not over yet. We are tracking five different fleets, combined into three larger groups, which are dropping out of warp space right on top of your citadel. I can't contact Rajagal or her forces, and that means it is the Seventh Fleet that is currently there on the platform with you. If they have overtaken defense systems, I'm not going to be able to reinforce you from Ire. The only help I can provide is through gateways and stargates. Other than that, you are standing against the invasion on your own. What's wrong, Duran? Having problems with giving birth to a new Protoss civilization? You again, Kerrigan. And your forces. It has been a while since I have seen Zerg carapaces adorned in such a horrid shade of red. From where have you acquired these Zerg, anyway? 
Raided some resource caches. Persuaded some feral guards. You'd be surprised at how many Zerg broods in this sector want you dead. It seems as if you've been quite busy preparing to bring me down. But honestly, you should not have bothered. I have the entire Empire at my beck and call. So you can bring your minions, feral guards, and whatever these three other factions of your ragtag alliance have. It still will not be enough. Three other factions? Yes, three. I know how to count, and I know better than to consider this a coincidence that you lot appeared here together. This is Lieutenant Davis of the Confederate Navy. Justice for Tarsonis is long overdue for your kind, Xeno scum. You're a bit late to the party with your comrades, Terran. The Terrans, as always, keep things interesting. Care to guess who else is coming after you? I know who they are. Whatever remnants are left of the Primal Zerg and their Elder, obviously. You speak once more to your future, Lord. Know that although you diminished my forces, you have not stopped the will of the Primals. For we were the first Zerg, unbroken and pure of essence. If you surrender your legions now, we will accept you into our fold. Or else, we will not hesitate to assimilate your essence. We are long past agreements and truces, Zervan. And I severely doubt you would hold your word for long anyway. My Protoss brethren are the reason for your invasion, after all. Indeed, it shall be set into motion. Our primal forces will end this pitiful conflict with blood. For the hour of judgment has come. I agree, it is. Bring all your minions, subordinates, soldiers, and ships you have left. I don't want to have to go to the trouble of hunting down my enemies later anyway. We'll be waiting. So be it. Enjoy this victory, Duran. Although you have defeated my swarm, we will endure and adapt, as we always have. One day I shall have my vengeance, when you least expect it. I will personally strike you down. 
All forces, pull back. This abominable creature can have this day. Do you hear me, Duran? Remember my voice well, because we will meet again, and you will pay for all of your atrocities tenfold. Davis out. is far from the strongest. In the aftermath of the final battle on Ira, most of the primal Zerg packs have withdrawn from the Koprulu sector, heading back for their homeworld of Xerus. According to psionic transmissions picked up by the UED listening posts, Elder Zurvan was found dead shortly after the defeat. It is unknown who is responsible for this, but without their supreme leader or the High Council, the primal Zerg's dream of galactic domination has come to an end. Kerrigan, a queen without a kingdom, fled to the devastated Tarkosia with hopes of rebuilding her swarm and ultimately claiming her vengeance over Duran. Lieutenant Davis and her surviving troops have returned to Braxis, planning to call for help from the only place they can hopefully still rely on. Planet Earth. Vice Admiral Stukov has arrived on Braxis as well, taking command over the rest of the UED forces, while hunter-killer Draliska has not been heard from since Raynor's death. The new Protoss Empire was greatly crippled by the destruction of the world ship, but multiple executors along with their legions continue to resist the Dalam Alliance, preparing to battle against those Protoss for the right to rule. Duran cannot help but notice that something still doesn't add up. Why did Rajagal leave? What is she planning to do? With no one knowing answers to these questions, the Lord of Fire can only wonder what future awaits him and the entire sector.